Well, welcome. I'm Charlie Epps. I work for Redstone Golf, and uh, we are really excited about what we're about to undertake today. We couldn't be happier at Redstone. And to be joining partners with a great institution, and it's great because my wife graduated from University of Houston. Go Cougars! See? So we have a, a, a little ceremony here that we want to really tell everybody about what we, this is all about. And uh, this was a vision of, of our former chairman, Dave Schendeldecker, when uh, he hired me. One of my responsibilities was to be liaison between the colleges and Redstone. So he'd be very proud to see us doing what we're doing today. <laughs> and I knew I was going to do this, but Dick Harmon would be so happy. He died five years ago, and he still haunts me in a good way, but he'd be so proud of this. He was all about the kids. So, we have some former players that um, are very important to us. Hal Underwood, would you please come up here? <laughs> Paul Marchand. John Stark and Ed Fiore. Hal Underwood was part of two national championships, 1966-1967 and runner-up in 1968. Won 11 collegiate tournaments under Dave Williams. Paul Marchand was the only graduate. <laughs> no. <laughs> Him and Jim Nance, but he was a great, great player and loved Dave Phil, uh, Williams. And then next to him is, is John Stark and Ed Fiore. They were on the team that won the 1977 National Championship. And I'm really proud to have them here. I'm going to ask them to do something very special. And I want you all to put one of these on. Pass them out right now. And because today is, is all about the winning attitude. And that's what Dave Williams was all about, winning. And not only winning a national championship, but winning in life itself. And, and Dave Williams was a type of man that was that concerned about all of his players. We have the beautiful Mrs. Williams here today. Your husband was just a wonderful, wonderful person. I got to know him right here in 1974 at the old El Dorado Golf Course, which is now the Members Golf Course. And I met him on the eighth hole, it was a par three. And I hit a shot, I knocked it about three feet, and he looked at me and says, son, do you have any eligibility left? <laughs> he was always recruiting, wasn't he, Paul? And he recruited all over, the, all over the country, all over the world. Fred Couples from Seattle, Nick Faldo from England, just on and on and on. And it, it all happened here. And we're going to get some more information about the great coach. But, uh, you know, it was just about winning. And that's what Redstone is all about, winning. And that's what the University of Houston is all about, winning. And in a very short time, the new athletic director, Mac Rhodes, has really turned all the programs around. For the first time in 2009, 2010, the first conference university to win the crowns in football, basketball, and baseball. How about that? How about that for a round of applause? So, Coach John, you, you've you created a monster. You're going to have to put out here. <laughs> but uh, right now, I just want to introduce the athletic director at the University of Houston, Mac Rhodes, and he will give us a little information about what his visions are. Mac. Charlie, thank you. 
Let's give a round of applause for those pants that Charlie's wearing today. Those are, those are. <laughs> I already told him I needed a pair. But w what a great day. And thank you, uh, everyone, for being here and helping us to, to celebrate what I think is a day that's been a long time coming. Um, this golf program uh, is by far the best in the entire country. And that was because of one man, and that was Dave Williams. And to win 16 national championships, that's something that none of us should ever take for granted. Because I don't know that that will ever happen again. Any one golf program ever do that again. And what we need to do is we need to build upon that. And we need 17 and 18 and 19, and we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. And it started when we hired Jonathan Dismuke He's doing a great job, and this facility will certainly help us achieve those goals. And there's no other person that is more deserving than to have this facility named after him than Dave Williams. And it's an honor to be an athletic director where Dave Williams served as head coach. Mrs. Williams, thank you for being here. Peggy, thank you for being here. Debbie, thank you. And Joel, thank you very much. Uh, let's give the Williams family a round of applause. Any time that you reach this moment uh, in a project of this magnitude, there's certainly a lot of people that are involved in the process that, that help to make this happen. And uh, it's important that, that we recognize those people and thank them because without them, we wouldn't be standing here. And uh, we have uh, a couple members for the, from the uh, Houston Athletics Foundation that uh, has partnered with UH Athletics to help us fund this program. Can I have those two, two gentlemen please stand up? Where's Daryl? Um, Trey Wilkinson and Daryl Schroeder. Daryl is also the president and CEO of Lone Star Construction and will be doing the construction on the facility. Uh, we have two people with the university that believe me, um, without them um, and the contracts and everything that goes along, again, we couldn't have gotten to this day and I would love for our, uh, our Vice Chancellor and Vice President for Legal Affairs and uh, Donna Cornell and Kristen Gibson to please stand. <laughs> please. <laughs> You know, I know we had some of the former players, but this program belongs to each one of you. You built this program. And so all of our former players, would you please stand and let us recognize you and thank you for the great program that you built. Please stand. And we've already checked with compliance to see if any of you have any eligibility left. So. The Redstone folks, again, when you think about partnering, you want to partner with a champion. And I think the University of Houston, we've been able to do that. The Redstone folks have been just first class. What, what better facility that we could call home to the University of Houston golf program? And we're so fortunate and blessed that we could partner with them. And the, the folks, I'm going to ask them to stand if they're here. I'm not sure that they're all here, but Bob Hendrickson, Steve Lerner, Mark Yankee, Kim Phillips, Greg Nielsen, Brett Nutt, Derek Klaus, and Redstone Companies, thank you all very, very much. As I mentioned, we look forward to the vision and to the future of our, our golf program, and uh, we certainly have our work cut out for us. But again, we're so honored that, uh, that we could recognize Coach Williams in this manner. Um, and I promise you, Mrs. Williams, we're going to fight scratch claw to win that 17th national championship, all right? And the person that's going to lead that way is a gentleman by the name of Jonathan Dismuke, our head coach. I'm going to ask Jonathan to come on up here in just a couple seconds. But Jonathan just completed. <laughs> He's pretty good at listening to directions, so. 
But uh, Jonathan just completed his second year, and uh, he was actually my first hire here um, as, uh, as athletic director, so I told him he better not screw it up. But, uh, and he hasn't. He's taken the golf program just a very short time to new levels. We finished uh, fourth in Conference USA, the best finish since 2003. Uh, we have the youngest team in the country, and so we're only going to get better under his leadership. And again, he's just been, he's been a, uh, a breath of fresh air to work with. Nobody works harder. And let me tell you, he is dedicated to our kids, our student athletes, both on the course and off the course. And when we think about Dave Williams, we think about winning in life, not just in the golf course. And Jonathan Dismuke does that as well. So Jonathan, uh, please come on up. Well, if you can't tell, I'm pretty eager to get this facility built. Um, I would like to reiterate the fact that uh, you know th this facility is taking um, a, a lot of people's hard work to make happen, and uh, everybody that Mac mentioned, uh, somebody that that. that that nobody thinks anything about uh, having a lot to do with this facility is a guy named Duran Meeks. Uh, without him, him and I is brainstorming and and putting uh, putting some thoughts to paper. Uh, this this facility might not be taking place. So Duran, I want to thank you for your friendship and thank you for your passion and and. Uh, he's going to be a tremendous golf instructor here. And um, you know, I was I was talking with a coach, kind of. A little further west of here in Austin, he was saying, "You know, I'm glad you guys are, are, are building this facility and and and, and catching up to uh, you know to to what's going on in the NCAA golf." And and I thought for a second that you know it's not our job to catch up; it's our job. Dave Williams was a trendsetter, you know, and and, and that's what the business we're getting into right now is trend setting. The uh, technology we're going to have in this facility, the athletes we're going to be able to recruit worldwide, again, uh, will allow this program to, to be one of the most successful in the nation. And um, I can't, you know, thank everyone enough. I can't, you know, part, part of me taking this job, I knew I had a, a huge responsibility. Uh, one, I wanted you know, to educate people in the Houston area and the country about what the University of Houston uh, has accomplished as a golf program because, you know, w w people need to know that. I I'm, I'm a history buff, and, and without me f going and finding it on my own, um, you know, it, the information is not really readily accessible. This facility will showcase that. And, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm so excited about continuing the legacy that you guys started. You know, it, I, I'm very, very sensitive towards that, and, and, and I, I assure you that I'm your, your biggest ambassador. And, um, you know, Dave Williams, in my mind, should be regarded as, as in the same regards as John Wooden or Joe Paterno or anybody else. You know, the, the success he had, 16 national championships. I've been fortunate enough to be part of one. And when you look back on it and, and, you, and you see everything that goes into it and the, and the things that have to go right in order for you to even have an opportunity to have that chance the last day is, is you know, unbelievable. And uh, to, to win 16 is, is, is shocking. And, um, you know, I can't thank you guys enough for what you've accomplished. The groundwork that you guys have laid that, that give me this opportunity and uh, the challenge that's ahead. I, I, I assure you, I, I appreciate that opportunity. And I'd like to introduce Joel Williams to talk a little bit about his, his father and what this facility means to the Williams family. Well, we're overwhelmed, I can promise you that. Uh, we're, we're so excited to be here. Parenthetically, before I say my scripted remarks, it's good to see Ed and John Stark, that 77 team that was not supposed to win. Now, Hal, your team was supposed to win, and they did. <laughs> this 77 bunch, they got, they got pasted by Wake Forest by about 60 shots two weeks before the NCAA. And they go up there to Colgate, New York, and, and bring home the bacon. And my dad always wore the championship ring for that year because he knew that team really did something extraordinary to win. So it's very special to see you two guys here today. Ed was uh, paired with uh, Curtis Strange. You've heard that name, I'm sure. And the other guys on the team said, Ed, how are you going to play with Curtis Strange? He's such a slow player. 
And Ed said, I'm just going to outslow Curtis Strange. <laughs> and he did, and he drove Curtis crazy. 